Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here. Welcome to the first episode ever of Starbound Mod Showcase. Today we're going to be looking at a few race mods. However, before we get into that, I'd like to just preface this series by saying this is my first time ever making um, any kind of uh, video like this. I've done Let's Plays and stuff like that, but I uh, never a mod showcase, so uh, please go easy on me. Also, as for the name, Starbound Mod Showcase is kind of what I'm rolling with for now. However, I would like this to become an ongoing series, and I'd like to have a... Uh, just a little bit more creative of a name. Uh, kind of drawing a blank though. So if you guys can think of one, um, by all means, feel free to share it with me and I will certainly take it into consideration. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the first mod here. I'm gonna go into the character creator and up here by species, you'll see there's an extra box. I'm gonna click on that and that's gonna give us a new race. This is the kangaroo race and this is made by Espelonarge. Uh, it's his very first mod, I do believe. So uh, as you can see, they're kangaroo people. I'm just gonna go ahead and click the randomize button here a bit so you can kind of get an idea of a few of the different, uh, just a few of the different looks. I'll show you the males as well here. Um, you'll see the hair assets are all the human hair assets. And uh, I think he did a little bit of work to make them blend in with the ears, but they, they still need some more work. Some of them don't really uh, blend in that well, as you can see, but um, some of them look fine. Uh, the best one here, I'll just try to find it for you, is the one with no hair at all. Uh, there it is there. It uses the human shirts and uh, pants as you can see. We're gonna give him the sweet leather jacket. We'll stick with the green and purple. That looks good. Let's change his fur color. I'm gonna go with, I like that red uh, quite a bit. I like the black too. Uh, I also like the, um, that's the fur color. The belly color changes underneath the tail and inside of the ears and just underneath the, uh, the mouth there. So, uh, the white looks really good. What was I just on? I liked the uh, the blue that I had. Yeah, I like that right there. Um, random names, I believe, are taken from the avian creatures. Uh, and so is the respawn animation. So I'm going to go ahead and name this guy. And then we will jump into the game. His name can be Jack. That's totally fine. Okay. We will select him. And we're going to jump into the game. I'm going to show you this guy in action here. Unbound. In a desperate attempt to escape from your homeworld, your planet Hopper has run out of the necessary material for the FTL engine to function. Fuel. It's time to set things in motion by retrieving the matter manipulator from the planet Hopper storage. Press E to interact with objects. So it does have its own little intro thing. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick up all of this stuff here, and then I'm going to beam on down to Earth, and I'm going to just kind of run around and kill a couple of things with this guy, just so you can kind of see uh, what he looks like in action. Here we go. Um, I really like this mod so far. It is it is just in the early stages, but as you can see, there's some good, uh, really good animations. The tail it's just kind of like wags around there. When you're walking, it's just kind of doing like a subtle little, a little thing there. So I find they're really, it's really well done. It, it might look a little, uh, uh, the tail might look a little like uh, herky jerky. I don't know. I have no complaints. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. So, oh, I'm falling down, falling down a hall. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. I, I'll go ahead and get him killed here too, just so you can see. Oh, this is gonna be totally easy to do, actually. Uh, oh, they're passive. Uh, I'll get killed by the spikes, I won't kill this guy. Uh, actually, he might kill me. Die! Take that! Feel the awesome power of my kangaroo awesomeness. Uh, he's dead, okay. Uh, I just want to see what's in this chest. Okay, doesn't matter. Nothing. All right, let's get him killed. So long, Jack. Sorry. Sorry, it had to be done. So I just wanted to show you guys the respawn animation. I believe that's the avian respawn because it's a chicken and an egg. Uh, it, it works, though, for now, because when it does uh, get full grown here, it turns into a kangaroo. I think it's kind of neat. So, uh, yeah, once again, that is uh, Kangaroo, K-A-N-G-A-R-U, by uh, Espillonage. All right, let's move on to the next race. The next mod we have on our list here is Felon by Kawa. And in this mod, you get to be a cat person. All right, here it is here. Um, once again, just gonna click the random button so you can see the different uh, the different types of looks that you can get. They got a swanky tail happening and everything. This one uses, once again, the, the human hair assets, uh, as you can see. But uh, they, they, they blend in pretty good, so it's not too bad, really. So let's let's play around here. Let's change the fur color. We'll go with we'll be an orange cat. Uh, what kind of hair do we want? That's a good question. We'll go with uh, something. Oh, there's only a. Uh, oh, there's only like four or five. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine then. 
I didn't know that. Um, there's apparently it comes with its own jacket. I don't know if it's this one or this one. I think it's that one. Or maybe it's this one. I don't know. It's pretty similar though to the human jacket. Uh, it comes with a few varieties of pants here. Uh, these torn jeans, they kind of, I don't remember seeing those. So I think they might be new, but uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, oh, another cool thing about this mod is it actually has a custom name generator. So you can be Tard Launcher, Tail Cutter, Salt Cutter, Game Dancer, Spice Cutter, Meat Launcher, etc. Butt, <laughs> butt Punch, Kill Scratch. Okay, well, we're going to go with Kill Scratch and uh, jump into the game. Uh, well, let's change the belly color. Oh, oh, that's that's my cat's belly. That's got, well, what I'm doing. Oh, so this changes the shirt, shirt color, and belly color changes your other shirt. However, if you don't have another shirt, maybe belly color does nothing? Yeah. And uh, shirt color probably changes your shirt color. Okay, that's a little funky, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the game with Kill Scratch. Fresh meat. Um, this one has its own uh, custom intro quest as well. Uh, I'm not going to read it this time though. Uh, it also has its own ship. It's made from assets of the actual game. I don't know what ship this one is based off of, but uh, it looks pretty good. It's got a little bench. It's got a sweet lava lamp. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all of this stuff. And also, I believe the chair. Oh, we've completed our first quest. Go us. The chair over here, the pilot's chair. Looks a little different, if I'm not mistaken. So, cool. Let's uh, head on down to the planet. Uh, so here we are. I'm gonna kill a couple of things, I guess. With uh, this looks like a hunting knife. It is a hunting knife. Okay, cool. Uh, once again, this one is it's really well done. I mean, the tail looks really good. It's really well animated. I mean, yeah, there's really not much more you can ask for. What a cool planet. Look at all these crazy eyeball trees. Oh wow, I'm taking some falling damage. Pretty easy. Another cool feature of this mod is it actually has its own custom codex here. As you can see, uh, Feline Journey Begins, Feline Introduction, a Feline Skull. These are all uh, handwritten by the mod author themselves. So uh, uh, that's another cool thing. There's uh, planned features for this mod in the future. There's going to be custom cinematics. Currently, the uh, respawn animation is just the human one, uh, which I would have showed you had I had I been able to get myself killed easily. Uh, and uh, possibly settlements. So you can expect uh, to see some updates for this mod. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next mod we're having a look at is Ponex Mod by Shondrak, which is obviously uh, very, very heavily inspired by the My Little Pony series. So that's pretty magical. Um, I'll go through a couple of the uh, different different options here. I'm just gonna randomize them once again. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this mod. I mean, look at the hair. It looks really nice. I mean. Uh, you can tell a fair amount of effort has been put into it already. Let's, uh, ooh, and uh, one really cool thing is the main styles. There's a fair variety. They're very fitting, and there's there are multiple colors, and then when you change the main color, you can get some pretty, really bright and vivid color ones, like that one there. Uh, oh, that one's cool. That one's really cool. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Let's, we're here. We'll be all kinds of shades of purple. Um, there we go. That'll be purple too. Unused color here. That is obviously uh, unused color. We'll stay as a pony lady. That's fine with me. Um, the clothing is glitch glitch clothing, I do believe, for now. But uh, that's cool too. We'll have a pink shirt. Uh, pants. Uh, oh, this is these are girl glitches. I don't, I'm not. I don't know what their clothing looks like, but I'm pretty sure that yeah, this is glitch stuff. Uh, cool. Does it have random names? I think it does, actually. Leaf Eraser, Cute Pie, yeah, it definitely does. Potato Comb, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that one. Potato Singer, Cute Starch, Blaze Dancer. Okay, let's jump into the game here. I already made one to check it out. We're gonna be Blaze Dancer, though. Oh, here it comes. Uh, new quest, fresh meat, blah, blah. So, as you can see, they didn't really put anything into that, but there is a new ship, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's a cool new ship. I like that. I like seeing like new ship designs, and I think that races, all of them should at some point have, you know, a unique ship look and that kind of thing, because it really helps just kind of tie the whole mod together. We'll jump on down to uh, whatever planet this is, Alpha Seti 9653B, and uh, we'll see if we can't kill anything. Now, uh, your main doesn't animate or anything when you move. That would be really, really cool if it did. 
Um, not sure if it's an upcoming feature or not. I don't think it's necessary though either. I mean, it, it looks and it works fine without it. So, you know, it's cool. Let's, uh, let's kill some stuff here. And, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna, wow, that did 20 damage. I'm just gonna, like, kind of try to get myself killed here. These guys are not doing a very good job. Come on, attack me. All right, uh, I just want to show you the respawn animation. I don't know which one it is, but it's not uh, its not a new one, I don't think. It's this one, which is a race that I have not played. Um, it's not the glitch. It can't be the humans, is it? No, it's not. I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, there it is. And uh, that's basically it for this mod. So we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so in keeping with the theme of anthropomorphic animals, so far we've had kangaroos, cats, ponies, and... Uh, now we're going to take a look at the Canadian race mod. This is by um, Tofufalo, uh, and he describes it as a beast slash canine race mod. Uh, and as you can see here by the picture, they kind of look like that. I'm going to click the random button a little bit here to uh, give you an idea of some of the uh, different types of canades that you can have. Uh, one thing you might notice is uh, their head never changes. There's no hair for this race as of yet hopefully it's something they plan to, to implement in the future however it is a, a brand new mod so uh, it is just in the early stages uh, you can change the fur color here uh, there's quite a few options actually let's we'll go with that red one uh, the shirts and pants use the avian I believe shirts and pants yeah they definitely do okay so uh, so that's cool um you can change your stance obviously as with any as with any race and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game with uh, one of these guys. Oh, uh, oh, you can change the eye color, which is cool. And you can change the belly color, which just changes the belly color right there. And we'll go with white and, and white fur. Uh, this does have a random name uh, generator for it. Uh, gray tooth, iron pelt, iron fur, dark pelt, snarl tooth. I do apologize for my phone going off. Ten points if you can guess what that noise is from, though. Silver fur. All right, we're going to jump into the game with silver fur. Here we go. And here we are in the game, and first thing you'll notice is it does have its own custom codex here for the intro quests at least. I'm not going to read it. Uh, if you get the mod though, you can obviously read it yourself. I am going to grab all these items here. Uh, no custom ship. It's, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, just uh, the base. I believe this is the Apex ship actually. We're going to be on down to the planet. I'm, I'm going to walk around a bit for this guy and you can see him in action. Uh, here he is here. Let's actually get off of that so you can kind of I just wanted to show off the tail a little bit more as you can see It does wag as he runs and walks around which is always a nice touch um, This is actually uh, I Quite like this mod. I do find um, a few of the colors The outlines don't always look uh, That great some of them kind of stand out. And they don't really blend as well as they could this one uh, Actually doesn't look too bad, but it you can kind of see it still looks a little uh just a little off is all like it, it could probably just look a little bit smoother that's all other than that though uh, I quite like it the mod author has said that he would like to uh, do a custom ship custom sounds a custom opening cinematic uh, its own respawn animation custom armor and items and a custom quest line so uh, there's quite a lot of work to be done on this mod like I said it is pretty much brand new uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up though guys I'm gonna beam on back to the ship all right, so um, I should mention all of these are just in the infant stages of development and uh, they all do have more planned features. Uh, I would like to say that they're all off to a pretty good start though. Uh, things I'd like to see in future versions of all of these mods is uh, a couple of articles of unique clothing uh, per, each, uh, per each race. And really you would only need one or two because um, you get you get armor to replace it anyway, but I, I just I think that would be a nice touch uh, Custom ships obviously custom codexes custom quests. Uh, I believe the vanilla races have a uh, custom um, Unique armor sets. Uh, I haven't got that far in the game yet, but pretty much anything that uh, the vanilla Races have I think that a mod race should also have uh, Just because that would make it the most you know fully full-fledged and fully integrated into the game and uh, and That's exactly what you want Guys, that's going to wrap it up for the very first episode of my Starbound Mod Showcase. I want to thank everybody for watching. Links to all of these mods will be in the description. I also want to thank the authors of all of these mods for their hard work. And uh, guys, if you'd like to see me feature um, any mods whatsoever, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Like I did say, I do want this to be an ongoing series. Um, so go ahead and like the video if you did like it, as it does help out quite a bit. Be sure to subscribe for more Starbound Mod Showcases such as this one, and more Starbound content and just gaming content in general, uh, feel free to check out my channel as well. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Have a great day. 
I will see you later.